Another historical moment for China and Vietnam. On Sunday afternoon, the Vietnam-China Friendship Building opened in Hanoi. Chinese President Xi Jinping attended the inauguration ceremony. This building began construction four years ago. It has a special role as a place to conduct cultural exchange activities between China and Vietnam. The exterior of the Vietnam-China Friendship Building looks like a lotus, the national flower of Vietnam. From today onwards, it will be a landmark building in Hanoi, not only in terms of architecture, but also a symbol of the friendship between the two countries. This is President Xi's first overseas trip since he was re-elected as General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party Central Committee last month. And his schedule is chock full of activities. General Secretary Xi has held bilateral talks with his counterpart, General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Ran Fu Chong. The Chinese leader also met Chairwoman of Vietnam's National Assembly, Ran Chi Kim Yan. Meanwhile, he extended a photo exhibition entitled Beautiful Vietnam, Beautiful China at the Hu Chi Minh Museum. <laughs> President Xi's visit has been warmly welcomed by locals. China is one of the countries which is most willing to promote trade liberalization. Vietnam, as the host country of 2017 APEC summit, will continue promoting trade liberalization with other countries. Actually, the term appeared in the Da Nam statement. I think China is one of the countries leading trade liberalization and facilitation around the world. That is also one of the major concerns in the region. Since 2015, the two countries have made tangible progress on the strategic alignment of their development initiatives. China's Belt and Road Initiative and Vietnam's two corridors and one economic circle plan. Major achievements have been seen in transportation, electricity and manufacturing between the neighboring countries. China has been Vietnam's biggest trading partner for 13 consecutive years. Well, Vietnam is China's largest trading partner within Southeast Asia. Analysts say the two nations still have potential for greater cooperation in infrastructure as well as trade and production capacity. Common development will bring real benefits to the two peoples and help maintain economic growth momentum in the Asia-Pacific region. Li Jiejun, CGTN, Hanoi.